So this is going to be a series of tutorials that will take us through the building of this wardrobe. We'll be using uh, different styles and different layers. We'll also be looking at objects in the Outliner tool. And I'll just run through the process of creating this sort of from scratch uh, properly using a number of different things that we can do to enhance our SketchUp modeling. I've also created a series of scenes. So we have scene one, which is a floor plan. This is the profile of the existing wall that we are building into. Uh, this outline here you can see is the skirting board in plan. And we've got some carcassing that we've put into this area and some cladding there. And then this is the wardrobe with the MDF back at that point. Scene two is a vertical section, which again shows us the ceiling line along here. We've got the floor plan uh, along here and then just in elevation and section more carcassing and some skirting going around there and this is some cladding for the top deck of this. We've got the hook at this point and we've got some more carcassing at this point and another skirting on the top. Scene 3 is the same view looking the other direction. Scene 4 is a front on view, that's an orthographic view of the front. And when we take these into layout, we'll be able to scale these to a suitable scale and put dimensions, etc., onto them. Scene five is just a scene that shows the section cuts. So if I want to or amend a section cut or whatever, then I can do that. And scene six is kind of a 3D view. Now, this 3D view is currently showing in a style that I've called no cut. CBL. Now the CBL stands for Color by Layer. And the reason I create one of these is because if we open up the Layers palette as well, now these windows are from the Window menu, so Styles, Layers, and we've got Outliner tool as well, and this means that they are active, that means they are shut. So if I click on that and did the same thing, we'd see that it'll be ticked, so that's what that means. And basically, this color by layer is a setting in the styles edit. So if I go to edit and the section here, which is the modeling settings, if you tick this thing, color by layer, then it highlights the color of all the objects drawn on this particular layer. So you can just about see there's a cladding layer there. If I turn that off or untick it, then that disappears. The skirting, I can untick that. And then we can see the carcassing below. If I decided to turn off the MDF outer, which is kind of the, the, the whole wardrobe thing, then that leaves us with just the timber carcassing. Okay, so it's an absolutely fantastic way to work, simply because you know just by looking at the objects what layer they're on. Okay, so I would recommend when you start using this, then you create a style and call it color by layer. And all you do is... You'll have a default style, which is kind of this one, I guess, without the sketch. Well, I wouldn't have any section planes on there. And then you could right click on that and make a copy of the standard one. And then in the edit tab, you could go to this end section, modeling settings, and just tick this color by layer. If I tick that now, that overrides that. And you get this little symbol saying this needs to be updated. I'm going to untick that so it goes back to normal because I don't want to override the current settings. But basically, in the modeling settings, you get all these options to control different things, the section cuts, um, how, what color the section cut line is, what the thickness is, what color the active section is, etc., etc. All these things are controlled within this section. We've also got, in each style, just to run through them, we've got the line types. And I always turn off endpoints and extensions because I don't want to have sort of lines with extra embellishment on the end. Some people like this sort of effect. Particularly, I don't. I also think it slows down the software as well. So I turn off endpoints and extensions. Depth cue as well. That kind of gives you a highlighted edge, thickens up the things in the foreground. But again, I tend to turn that off. I keep profiles on because it kind of looks a bit weird without them. But if you don't want any thickness on any of the lines, then profiles can be turned off. Uh, you probably would want to have edges turned on because it looks a bit weird without them. Okay, this one 
is the front and back colors, the default colors when you create geometry in SketchUp, and also the style based on this style toolbar up here. So if you want the generic style to be rendered, or textures, or just plain shaded mode, then you choose one of these. You might want it to be wireframe, which looks like that. Hidden line looks like this. Shaded looks like that. Texture looks like that, which because there's no texture applied, doesn't change from shaded. And then this one, which is the, um, I can't remember what it's called. It's called uh, monotone, that one, I think. Monochrome, monochrome, not monotone. And we've also got an X-ray option, which allows you to see through the different geometry. So this is what we're going to create, and I'll be doing it properly, so you'll be able to work out kind of how to set something like this up. We'll be putting some section cuts in, we'll be creating some scenes, and we will be sending this off to layout, where I'll create a simple template and add the various views to that. Okay, so this is going to be a kind of full-on little um, introduction to SketchUp, but using the proper methods and working on a real-life project.